Welcome everyone. Uh, in today's session, I shall be discussing first order difference equation. And this class is for the undergraduate students of economics who are studying the course Mathematics for Economics under the Dibrugur University. After watching this video, students will be able to define what is difference equation. They will also be able to solve a first order difference equation by the iterative method of solution. Before discussing what is difference equation? Let us differentiate between the concept of continuous chains and discrete chains. By continuous chains, we mean the chains of dependent variable with continuous chains of the independent variable. Uh, let us see the graph. In this graph, this curve shows the continuous chains of production y with respect to the change in time. So when time changes uh, continuously with no lag, then the production also changes without any gap. So uh, this is represented by the differentiation. On the other hand, the discrete change is the change of the dependent variable in two different periods. As for example, we are going to find out how much production is changing in 2012 over 2011, then we are dealing with the discrete change. Let us assume production in 2011 was 50 tons and production in 2012 is 100 tons. So the change in Y in 2012 over 2011 is written as since the production in 2012 is 100 tons and production in 2011 is 50 tons. So the change in, change in production in these two successive periods is 50 tons. So this is nothing but the discrete change of y with respect to time. So this is written as delta y t or delta y by delta t. In difference equation, we will be using this discrete change. Uh, let us define a difference equation. A difference equation relates the independent variable, dependent variable and its successive differences. Let us assume y is a dependent variable and t is independent variable. This equation relates independent variable t, dependent variable y and their successive difference because value of y in t plus 1 and value of y in time period t is equal to 5. That means this is the successive difference. So this is an example of, dif of a difference equation. And uh, more specifically, this is a first order difference equation since in this example, we are dealing with the successive differences between two periods. That means we are dealing with the change of y in two periods. That means y t plus 1 and y t. So as we are dealing with the change of y in two successive periods only so this is a first order difference equation on the other hand if we deal with uh, change of y uh, between three successive periods then it will be a second order difference equation um, but in this class i will be focusing on first order difference equation only as per your syllabus so how to solve a first order difference equation there are different methods to solve uh, one is iterative method and another is general method of solution but before going to the general method of solution let us discuss the iterative method of solution of a first order difference equation let us assume a first order difference equation y t plus 1 minus y t is equal to 5 which can be written as y t plus 1 is equal to y t plus 5 this is equation number 2 now if t equal to 0 then equation number 2 will become y1 is equal to y0 plus 5 that means if we put the value of t is equal to 0 then this equation will become y1 is equal to y0 plus 5 so uh, equation 2 can be transformed as y1 is equal to y0 plus 5 on the other hand if we put t is equal to 1 then equation number 2 will become y2 is, is equal to y1 plus 5. Since the value of y1 is already obtained as 
y0 plus 5 so we put the value of y1 as y0 plus 5 then y0 plus since there are two fives so we write 2 into 5 again if we put t is equal to 2 then equation number 2 will become y3 is equal to y2 plus 5 since the value of y2 is already obtained so y2 is equal to y0 plus 2 into 5 plus 5 so this can be transformed as y0 plus 3 into 5 so in general form we can write yt is equal to y0 plus 5t so this is the solution of first order difference equation by iterative method um, let us take another equation yt plus 1 minus yt is equal to minus 0.3 yt uh, this equation can be transformed as yt plus 1 is equal to yt minus 0.3 yt by taking yt common uh, we can transform the equation as yt plus 1 is equal to 0.7 yt this is equation number 2 now if we put t is equal to 0 then equation number 2 will become y1 is equal to 0.7 y0 okay then if we put t is equal to 1 then equation number 2 becomes y2 is equal to 0.7 y1 again since the value of y1 is already calculated so y2 is equal to 0.7 into 0.7 y0 since there is 0.7 multiplied by 0.7 so we can write 0.7 square y0 again if we put t is equal to 2 then equation number 2 in this particular problem will become y3 is equal to 0.7 y2 since the value of y2 is already you know obtained as 0.7 square y0 so by putting the value of y2 we get 0.7 cube y0 so this process will continue uh, when we increase the time this process will continue so in general form we can write yt is equal to 0.7t so whatever be the value of t that value will appear as power or exponent in this equation so the solution of this particular problem is yt is equal to 0.7 to the power t into y0 so this is how we can solve the first order difference equation uh, by iterative method but more popularly the general method of solution is used which we will be discussing in the next classes hope you understand the basic concept of difference equation and how to solve a first order difference equation uh, by iterative method and thank you for watching this video